This lesson will cover the following topics. Carburation. The diesel cycle. Principles of combustion. In a four-stroke engine, only the combustion stroke powers the engine. This power stroke is caused by a pressure increase due to combustion. Combustion is a reaction between a combustive agent and a fuel used to produce energy. The combustive agent used in an engine is ambient air. Air consists of the following gases. 79% nitrogen and 20% oxygen. The remaining percentage comprises rare gases. Fuel is a mixture of hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons consist of two elements, hydrogen and carbon. The cetane number is a characteristic that represents the fuel grade. This number represents the aptitude of a diesel fuel to self-ignite. The higher the number, the more easily the diesel fuel ignites. The manufacturer's recommendations should be observed. In extremely cold conditions, diesel fuels may partially crystallize. Crystallization risks causing the filter to clog therefore causing a cut in the fuel supply. The use of fuel additives lowers the temperature level at which the fuels crystallize. Diesel heater systems may be fitted to the filter unit. Diesel fuels contain sulfur. The sulfur content of diesel fuels depends on the grade of the crude oil and the additives. At the point of combustion inside the engine, the sulfur is transformed into sulfur dioxide, SO2. The noxious level of this gas causes a reduction in the sulfur content of the diesel fuel. A low sulfur content also reduces the emission of particles. Deester is a vegetable and animal-based oil, rapeseed, soya bean, sunflower, etc., mixed with methanol. Deester is used as an additive in refined diesel fuel. However, modern diesel engines have to use a fuel which does not contain a high percentage of deester. Deester improves the lubricating properties of the diesel fuel. In this section, we covered the following points. Combustion is a reaction between a combustive agent and a fuel used to produce energy. The combustive agent used in an engine is ambient air. Air contains nitrogen, oxygen and rare gases. The fuel is a mixture of hydrocarbons, HC. Hydrocarbons consist of hydrogen and carbon. The cetane number represents the aptitude of a diesel fuel to self-ignite. In extremely cold conditions, diesel fuels may partially crystallize. The sulfur content in the diesel leads to a noxious gas produced in the exhaust gases and contributes to the emission of particles. Deester is a vegetable or animal-based oil mixed with methanol. Deester is used as an additive in refined diesel fuel. The diesel engine operates as a four-stroke cycle. The combustion phase is the only power stroke in this cycle. We will be detailing the different strokes in the diesel cycle on the following screens. During the induction phase, the inlet valve is open and the piston descends. Only the air is taken in during this phase. The diesel engine has no throttle valve. Therefore, at each intake, the amount of air entering is always the same. During the compression phase, the two valves are closed and the piston rises. A high rate of compression is required to obtain a large increase in the temperature of the air. For the diesel fuel to self-ignite, the air must reach a minimum temperature of 400 degrees Celsius. During the combustion or power phase, the two valves are closed. Combustion is triggered by spraying the diesel fuel into the hot air. The combustion is called detonation. All of the fuel self-ignites at the same time. 
the rapid combustion causes a very high pressure above the piston. This pressure causes the piston to descend and creates the engine torque. During the exhaust phase, the exhaust valve is open and the piston rises again. The gases produced from the combustion are evacuated to the exhaust. The cycle can then start all over again. In this section we covered the following points. The diesel engine operates as a four-stroke cycle. The combustion phase is the only power stroke in this cycle. The diesel engine has no throttle valve. At each intake the amount of air entering is always the same. For the diesel fuel to self-ignite, the air must reach a minimum temperature of 400 degrees Celsius. In a diesel engine, the combustion is called detonation. All of the fuel self-ignites at the same time. In contrast to a petrol engine, the diesel engine has no throttle valve. On a diesel engine, the engine torque is managed by the quantity of injected diesel fuel. When a request for more torque is made, the quantity of diesel fuel injected increases. When a request for less torque is made, the quantity of diesel fuel injected is reduced. The fuel is sprayed by the injector in fine droplets straight into the combustion chamber. The spraying is carried out at a very high pressure. The droplets are heated upon contact with the air to reach the temperature of self-ignition. The homogeneity of the mixture influences the speed and quality of combustion. Combustion of the mixture, even if it is explosive, is not instantaneous. If the injection takes place at TDC, the pressure due to combustion reaches its maximum when the piston has already descended. The force exerted on the piston therefore only applies to part of the power stroke. The torque produced is low. If, on the other hand, the injection takes place before the TDC, the combustion will be complete at TDC. The pressure due to combustion will be at its maximum and will apply throughout the power stroke. The torque produced will be greater. It is therefore necessary to begin the injection before the end of the compression phase to achieve the greatest efficiency. Combustion of the air-diesel fuel mixture is explosive. The pressure increase inside the combustion chamber is sudden. This increase in pressure causes vibrations and the rattling noise characteristic of diesel engines. Certain systems perform a pre-injection phase before the main injection phase. The pre-injection phase primes the combustion with a small amount of diesel fuel. The pressure increase inside the combustion chamber is then gradual. The amount of vibration and noise is reduced. This phase is no longer used from a certain load onwards. Some systems also use a post-injection phase to improve the treatment of pollutants. A small quantity of diesel fuel is injected after the main injection phase at the end of the power stroke. Unburnt diesel fuel is evacuated along with the exhaust gases and is used by the particle filter systems. Today, diesel engines systematically adopt the use of a turbocharged air circuit. The use of a turbocharger improves engine performance and plays an important role in engine pollutant emissions. The air inlet intercooler lowers the temperature of the compressed air to increase the amount of air taken into the cylinders. In this section we covered the following points. The engine torque is managed by the quantity of injected diesel fuel. The spraying of fuel in fine droplets is carried out at very high pressure. It is necessary to begin the injection before the end of the compression phase to achieve maximum efficiency. The pre-injection phase primes the combustion with a small amount of diesel fuel. The pressure increase inside the combustion chamber is then gradual. Some systems also use a post-injection phase to improve the processing of pollutants. The use of a turbocharger and an air inlet intercooler 
improves engine performance and pollutant emissions.